The purpose of the PDF Automator is to create easy-to-use, compact PDF files out of a folder containing JPEG images. This will work if your folder contains either .jpg files or .jpeg files. These PDFs can be used for a variety of purposes, but I primarily use them when I've finished a number of pages and I need to email them to my editor all in one bundle because I don't want to be the guy who emails my editor 22 JPEGs attached to a single email that he has to download separately. Instead, just attaching a PDF that has everything that I need to show him. It's one file, it's easy for him to download, and once he gets it open, it'll be easier for him to maneuver through. So let's get to it. To activate this DigiArt Quick Tool in Adobe Photoshop, we go to File, Scripts, DigiArt Quick Tool PDF Automator. Next, we locate the folder that contains the JPEGs that we would like to convert into a PDF. Once you've located that folder, just hit Choose, and the PDF Automator will take every JPEG in that folder and convert it into a multi-page PDF document. It goes through these images pretty quickly, but if you have lots of images or if the JPEGs are of large size, uh, it might take a moment. The PDF Automator captures the name of the chosen folder and uses that as the name of the PDF. So let's take a look at the type of PDF it creates, uh, which are very easy to flip through, very easy to use. But what if you have an entire group of folders, each filled with JPEGs that you'd like to convert into PDFs? Well, we've thought of that as well. We still go to File scripts and then activate the DigiArt Quick Tool PDF Automator. So here we see I have basically my entire run of Robin comics that I want to make uh, PDFs for. So instead of doing that each individually, we just go to the parent folder and again hit choose. And now the DigiArt Quick Tool PDF Automator will go through and cycle through every subfolder. Only one level of subfolders. So if you have folders within folders within folders, it'll actually only go one deep still. So lots of JPEGs, lots of folders. This process could take a while. You could just do what I do, start this kind of thing, then go to lunch, whatever. But it really reduces the amount of redundancy, tedious actions where you have to manually set these PDFs by yourself. You can just let this run. It's pretty stable, so there's very little risk of it breaking in the middle unless you have a truncated file, so just be aware of that. So there you have it. After the DigiArt Quick Tool PDF Automator has run its task, we can click on each of these folders and see that there's a PDF that has been made from the JPEGs in that folder. And I have run this on hundreds of files at a time. And I use PDFs to organize a lot of my reference material. At the end of an individual issue, I'll put all of the inked pages from that issue into a PDF. It makes it easy to email stuff to editors or to share reference material with other artists. This concludes the tutorial for the DigiArt Quick Tool PDF Automator. Don't forget to visit freddyart.com for additional tutorials and other DigiArt Quick Tool downloads.